Now the next equation to solve is 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. This is a quadratic equation. Now you have four main methods of solving a quadratic equation. You can use factorization if possible. Um, in some cases it would it would be really difficult to factorize unless you get whole number factors. Right? So you have factorization as one. There is the formula. You can use graph or you can use completing the square. Alright? Now at this point we won't consider the graph nor completing the square. So we left with two possible options. Let's look at factorization if it can really work out here. Now you remember the AC method. You have AX squared plus BX uh, plus bx plus c equals zero as the may as the general form of a quadratic equation you multiply a times c to give an answer and you think of two numbers they multiply to give a c a times c is a c they multiply to give a c and they add to give b then you move on from there. Now in our case, A is 2, B is 5, C is, C is not negative, is C is not 3, it is negative 3, right? It's a plus negative 3, it's the same as minus 3. So, AC, 2 times negative 3 is in this case negative 6 so AC is negative 6 think of two no numbers that multiply to give AC and add to give B in other words two numbers that multiply to give negative 6 and they add to give 5 well, I'm thinking of negative 1 and 6 negative 1 times 6 is negative 6 negative 1 plus 6 is 5 so you split the middle part of the equation into these two numbers. So you have 2x squared at one end. You have minus 3 at the other end. In the middle, you split the 5 into the 5x into negative 1x plus 6x. I didn't bother to write the 1, but it's negative 1x. So now you factorize the 2x squared minus x and you factorize the 6x minus 3. The common factor between 2x squared minus x is x. Put x outside the bracket. Inside the bracket what do you have? It's going to be 2x minus 1. Here the fa common factor will be 3 and inside the bracket 3 into 6x goes 2x minus 3 into 3, 1. And the brackets must contain the same thing. So, let me separate the work here. So, in this case, you have 2x minus 1 as a common factor in both cases. So, you place 2x minus 1 here, outside the bracket. And inside the bracket, you have x plus 3 equals 0. Now when you have these two items multiply and give a 0 it means one of them must be 0 or the other must be 0 or maybe both because 0 times 0 is 0. If it's the case that 2x minus 1 is 0 then x is x is going to be half and if it is the case that x plus 3 is 0 then what is x? x is negative 3, alright? 
No. Let's try the formula. Let us try the formula and see what will happen. Alright. Let me erase these two. Alright. No. You have the formula sheet. Um, and the quadratic formula is there. Now x is equal to negative b. Remember b is 5. So you have negative 5 plus 1 minus the square root of b squared, which is 5 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 3, all over 2a, which is 2 times 2a, a is 2, so it's 2 times 2, all right? So x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared is 25 minus negative is going to be a minus negative. 4, 2, 8, 8, 3 is 24. When you say 25 minus negative 24 is the same as 25 plus 24 all over 2, 2 is 4. So x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 plus 24. That's 49. 49 over 4. So that gives you negative 5 plus or minus. Square root of 49 is 7 all over 4. So x is a negative 5 minus 7 is what? That's 12, negative 12, negative 12 over 4, or x is negative 5 plus 7. Negative 5 plus 7 is 2 over 4. What is negative 12 over 4? Negative 12 over 4 is negative 3. And what about x equal 2 over 4? 2 over 4 is half. So we get back these answers again, right? So, we have various ways that we can work this out and find the answer. So, we have x is equal to half or x is equal to negative 3.